Hi, and welcome back to the CyberKnife CK Camp. I'm Sasha, and I've been joined by Dr. Omar Dawood, who's the Vice President of Clinical Development at Accurate. Omar, there are so many different treatment options that cancer patients have. I can imagine it being, over, being overwhelming. How does the CyberKnife fit into that continuum of care, and how do patients decide? Sasha, I think you're asking a lot of really great questions. It's really confusing for patients. There are a lot of treatment options, and the treatment options vary by the kind of cancer the patient has, where the cancer is located, and how advanced the patient's disease is. If we look at a couple examples, for example, lung cancer. If a patient has early stage lung cancer, which is usually a tumor that is localized and confined to one part of the lung, typically surgery is the gold standard treatment in which the patient has to undergo a very invasive treatment that has significant complications and risks. Although surgery is the gold standard, many patients cannot have surgery because they have advanced heart disease or advanced lung disease because they're smokers. That's where the CyberNet really comes in, as a non-invasive, non-surgical treatment offer. And what we've seen in advanced lung cancers, for example, is the CyberKnife works very well being combined with other therapies. For example, like systemic therapy, in which the patient may have disease in many, many different parts of the body, but they still need treatment of localized disease, and they need something that works very, very well with chemotherapy. Because the CyberKnife treatment is completed typically within a week for lung cancer, that allows the patient to come back to their chemotherapy and resume their chemotherapy very, very quickly, maximizing the time that they can be treated. Interesting. So you mentioned lung cancer. You mentioned there was another example that's probably best for cyber. Well, I was going to talk about prostate cancer as well. I mean, really, the cyber has been used to treat cancers all over the body. But what's interesting about prostate cancer is most patients are diagnosed um, with localized early stage disease, and they're diagnosed very early. What that means for patients is they have time to become educated on the many different surgical and non-surgical treatment options. And I think that's so important for patients to gain as much information as they can about treatments. With the CyberKnife, it's a non-invasive treatment for prostate cancer, a treatment typically completed in a week. And thus far, results have been very, very promising. And so we see a lot of patients looking toward that treatment as a new method for them in terms of treating their prostate cancer. Interesting. So how does the CyberKnife fall, I guess, compared to other radiation therapy devices? Well, that's a really good question. Some radiation therapy devices, I should say many, actually need uh, frames that are actually bolted on the patient. And they need that. Yeah, it, it is really uncomfortable for patients. But they need those frames to be able to achieve the high levels of accuracy that really make treatment safe. So if that's what's required, it's really a small price to pay. Luckily, we actually have a non-invasive treatment. And so you don't have to undergo the painful uh, frames that are put, put on a patient's head or the body frames that are used to mobilize a patient and reduce, for example, motion from pain. It's a completely non-invasive treatment. And it allows the patient to lie comfortably, listen to music, and, and really have, I want to say, almost a pleasant experience when they're having their cancer treatment. That's so great. So if a patient was looking for more information on the CyberKnife, is there some place that they could go? I'm, I'm so glad you asked. There's actually a really, really great resource, a number of resources for patients. One of the best resources is a website, www.cyberknife.com. It's a patient-friendly website, and it gives you a ton of information on your specific cancer, as well as all the other treatment options that are out there. And as a clinician, I really feel it's very, very important for patients to become as educated as possible about all the treatment options that are, that are available for their cancer, and then work with their clinician to figure out what treatment option is the best. Thank you. I mean, cancer definitely sucks, but I'm so glad that we're able to offer a treatment option like the cyber I, I, I agree. I agree. Patients are really at the heart of what we do here, and we're very, very excited that we've been able to help so many patients um, in their fight against cancer. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time tonight. Thank you. It's getting late here in Chicago. I'm going to head out to find some food in this windy city. But don't worry, we'll be back tomorrow with some more interviews with the CyberKnife CK Camp. Ciao for now. See you tomorrow. Take care.